Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on Thursday the 5th of March. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory for ever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Have mercy on me, O God, in your great goodness. According to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my offences. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and righteous in your judgment. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation and sustain me with your gracious spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from my guilt, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And our psalm this morning is 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. My soul shall glory in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look upon him and be radiant and your faces shall not be ashamed. This poor soul cried and the Lord heard me and saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is gracious. Blessed is the one who trusts in him. Fear the Lord, all you his holy ones, for those who fear him lack nothing. Lions may lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack nothing that is good. Come, my children, and listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is there who delights in life and longs for days to enjoy good things? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from lying words. <clears throat> Turn from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to root out the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord hears them, and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the broken-hearted, and will save those who are crushed in spirit. Many are the troubles of the righteous. From them all will the Lord deliver them. He keeps all their bones, so that not one of them is broken. But evil will slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord ransoms the life of his servants, and will condemn none who seek refuge in him. Send your holy angels to watch over us, O God, that on our lips will be found your truth, and in our hearts your love so we may ever taste your goodness in the land of the living, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. <clears throat> our Old Testament reading is from Jeremiah, the ninth chapter, reading from the twelfth verse. 
Who is wise enough to understand this? To whom has the mouth of the Lord spoken, so that they may declare it? Why is the land ruined and laid waste like a wilderness, so that no one passes through? And the Lord says, Because they have forsaken my law that I set before them, and have not obeyed my voice, or walked in accordance with it, but have stubbornly followed their own hearts, and have gone after the Baals, as their ancestors taught them. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I am feeding this people with wormwood, and giving them poisonous water to drink. I will scatter them among nations that neither they nor their ancestors have known, and I will send the sword after them until I have consumed them. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Consider and call for the mourning women to come. Send for the skilled women to come. Let them quickly raise a dirge over us, so that our eyes may run down with tears and our eyelids flow with water. For a sound of wailing is heard from Zion, how we are ruined, we are utterly shamed because we have left the land, because they have cast down our dwellings. Hear, O women, the word of the Lord, and let your ears receive the word of his mouth. Teach to your daughters a dirge, and each to her neighbour a lament. Death has, become, has come up into our windows. It has entered our palaces to cut off the children from the streets and the young men from the squares. Speak. Thus says the Lord, human corpses shall fall like dung upon the open field, like sheaves before the reaper, and no one will gather them. Thus says the Lord, do not let the wise boast in their wisdom, do not let the mighty boast in their might, do not let the wealthy boast in their wealth, but let those who boast boast in this, that they understand and know me, that I am the Lord. I act with steadfast love, justice and righteousness in the earth, for in these things I delight, says the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God the Most High, the Almighty. Lord Almighty and God of our ancestors, you who made heaven and earth in all their glory, all things tremble with awe at your presence, before your great and mighty power. Immeasurable and unsearchable is your promised mercy, for you are God most high. You are full of compassion, long-suffering and very merciful, and you relent at human suffering. O God, according to your great goodness, you have promised forgiveness for repentance to those who have sinned against you. The sins I have committed against you are more in number than the sands of the sea. I am not worthy to look up to the height of heaven because of the multitude of my iniquities. And now I bend the knee of my heart before you, imploring your kindness upon me. I have sinned, O God, I have sinned, and I acknowledge my transgressions. Unworthy as I am, you will save me according to your great mercy. For all the host of heaven sings your praise, and your glory is for ever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God, the Most High, the Almighty. And our New Testament reading from John's Gospel, the seventh chapter, starting at the first verse. After this, Jesus went about in Galilee. He didn't wish to go about in Judea because the Jews were looking for an opportunity to kill him. But the Jewish festival of booths was near. So his brothers said to him, leave here and go to Judea so that your disciples also may see the works you're doing. For no one who wants to be widely known acts in secret. If you do these things, show yourself to the world. For not even his brothers believed in him. Jesus said to them, my time has not yet come, but your time is always here. The world cannot hate you, but it hates me, because I testify against it that its works are evil. Go to the festival yourselves. I am not going to this festival, for my time has not yet fully come. After saying this, he remained in Galilee. But after his brothers had gone to the festival, then he also went, not publicly, 
kept, as it were, in secret. The Jews were looking for him at the festival and saying, Where is he? But there was a considerable complaining about him among the crowds. While some were saying, He's a good man, others were saying, No, he is deceiving the crowd. Yet no one would speak openly about him for fear of the Jews. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. The Benedictus. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who's come to his people and set them free. He's raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all the haters, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. In penitence and faith, let us make our prayer to the Father, and ask for his mercy and grace. For your holy people, that they may triumph over evil and grow in grace, we pray to you, O Lord. For the leaders of the nations, that you will guide them in the ways of mercy and truth, we pray to you, O Lord. For the needy, that they may not be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away, we pray to you, O Lord. For the sick in body, mind and spirit, that they may know your power to heal, we pray to you, O Lord. For the poor in spirit, that they may inherit the kingdom of heaven and see you face to face, we pray to you, O Lord. Let us commend the world for which Christ suffered to the mercy and protection of God in a few moments of silence. Amen and the collect for today. Almighty God, you show to those who are in error the light of your truth, that they may return to the way of righteousness. Grant to all those who are admitted into the fellowship of Christ's religion, that they may reject those things that are contrary to their profession, and follow all such things as are agreeable to the same. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me this morning for our morning prayers. I do hope that each one of you will have a good day today and that you'll be able to join me again tomorrow morning. Goodbye. <laughs>